crafters. This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse, and I'm here with a, another product showcase. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of those lately, haven't I? Well, I decided to make some tags, and I just wanted to show you this set. I thought, you know, I saw it, and I thought, oh, it's cute, but no, it's real cute. And this is the, let me look at the name, Avery L. Holiday Circle Tags. So here you can see it features Santa, um, a Nutcracker, Snowman, you can say Frosty, and a Penguin. And these measure roughly two inch, so it's a two inch circle. Comes with little extras, have the to and from. Super cute photopolymer set from Avery L. So I got this, colored it up with, with my Copics. Then it has its matching die, which is the Holiday Circle Tags die. This little simple looking die set. So let me scoop this out the way and let me get a piece of paper. So this little simple die set that just looks like a scallop and a pierce inner circle. Let me show you the magic. This is the magic right here. As simple as this is. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a goodie. So here, the set comes, because I think the magnet is blocking everything, comes with the outer scallop circle, the inner matting layer, this essential, cut it out of 110 pound cardstock. And if you don't want to use the to and from from the stamp, you can cut it out and stick it on the back. And then, what are these two little dots? Huh, you know, I didn't even, I need to find out what these dots are for. I, didn't, I did not use them, but anyway. Let me show you what I created with this wonderful set. So, super cute. So, let's start off with, we got Santa. And so I made a Santa tag, use my Copics. Here, I use the Copic coloring paper, so I just put the die on top of the image, cut it out, backed it here with some glitter cardstock. Now this is not part of the set right here. That's just a reinforcer, like, a, like one of my reinforcer dies from, from one of the planner dies. And on the back, that's, oh, well the tag is stuck in between. I use 110 pound and then put the glitter on top. So it's, it's like a double thing. I did it here, so it, it can be sturdy. So these are gift tags, or it can double as ornaments. I just put some twine on it. And here I layered up some little stickers or little, um, I have this from AliExpress. So they're like little peppermint resin pieces. I will link it below. A few sellers sell it. One time it was hard to find, but now they're easier to find. So you can, you know, buy a pack. They're relatively cheap, just just put it in your stash and hold it. You can get pink ones if you want, pink peppermint for Valentine's. Even the red one can still work for Valentine's Day projects. Normally these are shaker bits, but I'm using them as just hits of ephemera, just to finish it. So here you have blue glitter, that inner piece with the frosty that I colored up, layered up. Oh, I love this, I love this. I just kept on going, just kept going. So, I'm gonna put these on gifts. There goes the penguin. Um, here comes the nutcracker. Isn't he cute? Colored him up. Yes, I did the blue, blue, and, um, blue and red. Then I decided to go into some of my images. This was one of the extra images I had from the outside the box with the teddy bear. Just put the bear on it, layered it up. Here on the back now, I didn't tuck this in between the two pieces. Sometimes you can you can tuck this little um what would you call this? The 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 hanger piece. I can't, I can't think. It's late at night. <laughs> the hanger piece here in between the two or stick it on the back. I use score tape to stick it onto the back and this is 110 pound. This is 110 pound and then I have of course my favorite Anna Griffin foil, some glitter and then just some ephemera along with my um, stickers actually. Stickers and then a little, um, mm, what do you call that? Christmas foliage, just punched it out. That's actually a punch, not a die. It's a Martha Stewart punch. 
and then st stick the image on top. I popped him up and it's super cute. So if you have extra images that you colored up, use them. Here's another one. This is my Trinity stamp gnome. So I had colored him up and turned him into a Christmas one. I think this is like a all year round. He's like a baker and I made a little shaker. Yes, you can make a shaker with this too. Mileage out of this little set. And then I put a little gingerbread um, sticker on him, layered up some white puff on him, white that. puffy. And then I use this. This is that foam board that they sell at the Dollar Tree. It looks like project foam board, cuts like a dream with the um, die. So here I have, looking at the whole set, let me make sure that I'm in frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, six bits. I use a lot of um, glitter, as you can see. I used glossy accents. I was just having fun. And isn't that what crafting is all about? So to make the shaker, you take the outer piece, put the inside piece like so. When you flip it over, just put, um, some purple tape and you guys know in this case yes I did use the big one the purple tape from Amazon you get two rolls for under ten ten dollars so and stick it like this and that will create the the foam layer and this top layer to make a shaker so this little tag set simple as it is Love it, love it, love it. I think, you know, and this is an all year round tag set too. You can use it for a birthday present. So let's see, birthday, Valentine's, job well done, congrats. Anything you wanna, you wanna tie a little tag to on a gift, gift bag, perfect. I, I can even use this because the finished project is two and a half inches wide. You can put, you can tie this up let me see, I do have one tied here that I could use as an ornament on a, tr you know, on a Christmas tree. If you have a small little craft Christmas tree, make your own little ornaments. Isn't it adorable? Because it's large enough. It's not too small. It's not too large. It's just right. It's like the Goldilocks of tags. <laughs> so I love it, love it, love it, love it. So this is a really nice set. I will link it below. And let me see now. Let me show you how, how it comes together. Um, so I cut the base. Here's the base, 110 pound. You can cut it again in whatever you want. Foil, glitter, um, just regular cardstock. Layer it on top. If you want, it gives you two options for the little... Um, part to make it a tag. Two pieces here. One is round and one is square. Both of them hold up very well. Just use, in this case, I would say get 110 pound cardstock because once you're gonna put um, twine on it and you want it to hang a certain way, this works very well. I have it super sturdy because of the base and that little piece here. So you can either tuck it on the back like so. You can use wet glue. I use score tape because I just love my score tape. And then, or stick it in between and then sandwich it, whichever way. And when I did sandwich it, I put score tape on the front and score tape on the back. And then here's the inner piece. So here it is out of glitter. And you can still see the, the pierce detail, but it's easier to see on the foil, right? There we go. So let me come back down and you can layer it up like so. Okay, let me let me do the contrast for, for you guys. Layer it up like so. Layer it up like so. Bring in your image, whether it's a colored image. Here I colored this cute little, um, what is this? Penny, Penny Black. I got this little stamp. I had shown you this in my scrapbook.com haul. Can stick it on here with the little tap piece. There you go. Easy as pie. Take out some twine and just add your twine and you're done. This twine 
I got it 50% off. It was a three pack of twine from Hobby Lobby. Any twine that you have, you can even get twine at Target or put it over here. You know me, I like the glitter, so I would have done, that's, that's my personal choice right there. But hey, you don't have to do that. You could just do regular cardstock. If you don't like foil, you don't like, you know, glitter. Now, also, you may not have colored images, so let's go one step further. You can bring in a die cut image. Look at that. This is a, this is a die, a penguin die from Echo Park. And you can still find it at certain places. eBay, um, scrapbook.com had it on clearance. I'm not sure if they have it. If they do have it, I will link it if they have a few left. But isn't this cute? It's adorable, adorable. So this is almost, I would say, two and a quarter inches tall. So I could layer up. I could layer up that die cut piece right there. So die cut pieces work, whatever. Hearts for Valentine's, stick a few hearts. Stickers, so let's go into stickers now. Take a pack of stickers. Here we have all this cocoa, stick it there and just layer up stickers. This, this I actually used. So I used it a lot. I used it on, see, I used it there. So I didn't have to go cut and punch a bunch of, a bunch of poinsettias, just, just put some stickers on it and create, have fun. So stickers work. We have my little Santa puffy stickers. This works. And um, I think I have seen this set because I know I was trying to find it, you know, the most economical way. Yes. Yes, honey. Got a budget. Got a budget. Especially after today. When everybody is Christmas shopping. Oh, the freezer broke. Had to go get a fridge. You know how hard it is to find a fridge that's available. One fridge. I was like, oh, great price. He said nine weeks. I said, excuse me. <laughs> I was like, no way. So I was fridge shopping. Oh, that, this is the whole process. So anyway, um, I think this is a great set. Namely, if you don't want to get, if you don't want to get the stamps, you know, get it later on. This will be there. Even next year, I'm pretty sure Avery L will, will carry it because they carry a lot of their stamps. Um, I'm not sure if they retire stuff, but this is still new, so you can get this anytime. But the star of the show, this little die set right here, star of the show, well worth it, not expensive. I think this whole thing was $12, seriously. Now you could create your own, but this is what makes it extra special because this little, this little quarter inch area here is what's going to give you all the sturdiness to create these tags. So just wanted to pop on real quick, show you all the tags I'm going to make for gifts. Well, going to make tags that I already made, ha ha ha, for gifts. Super cute, super cute, super cute. And like I said, all year round, birthday, Valentine's, anything. Pop a little die cut piece on it. Alrighty, crafters, until the next video, stay crafty, my friends. Bye for now.